So, I've been wanting to go to Dud Sagar for quite some time now and this is the right time of the year to do so. And obviously it is all over the Instagram and every person is going there right now. But there is a certain amount of risk involved because I'm trying to do this trip alone. So risk number one. It is not exactly a natural risk, it is something that I've brought upon myself which is to trek all the way from Kulem to Castle Rock via Dutsagar. So it is around 28 kilometers and I have to have to reach Castle Rock uh, by evening because I need to catch my train from there. Risk number two. Although it is legal to get to Dutsagar from Kulem, it is illegal to go all the way to Castle Rock considering you're walking on the tracks and there's probably a fine and even jail. Risk number three is this video. So this is a video that shows cops chasing people and not letting them on the Dutsagar bridge which is pretty recent. So all chips in, I am betting that there are going to be quite some people just like me and uh, we will have our strength in numbers and just like how it happened in this video um, the cop finally left them on the bridge which is again illegal so the final risk is that obviously it is a solo trip and you don't know what kind of people you're gonna rub shoulders with so um got this solo travel why does it sound so weird Anytime I tell people that I want to go on a solo trip, the usual responses are like, are you alright? Did you go through a breakup or something? Is everything alright at home? I always wonder why people have associated sadness with it. I mean, I know a part of the reason is the movies and that narrative has really stayed. But if you think about this logically, it really does not make sense. It is simply an experience that you are having alone. So, I think it is high time that people normalize going on solo trips so guys i finally made it to the train uh from my seat and uh i gone outside to pick up the water bottle but then the train started going so i had to run back inside but right now uh, i'm 20 minutes into the journey and uh, the train is probably in Tumpur right now let's see so so far so good there are also others in the train, like for example, uh, people like me, but then they're traveling in gangs and groups. Well, it's by default nobody's wearing their mask. I just removed it just for the camera, but then, you know, the vibes in India. Hey, so I was editing the video and I realized that I have lost some footage. It was a pretty exciting footage. Uh, anyway, so let me just give you a context uh, before we move on. So as the train crossed Castle Rock, I got this crazy idea where I thought, why can't I get down somewhere on the way rather than going all the way back to Kulin and then starting the trek from there. So I made up my mind uh, and stood near the door waiting for the train to slow down so that I can get down. But there was literally nowhere to get down because the train was passing uh, tunnels every a minute or so and then on the other side of the tracks um, sometimes there was space and sometimes there was no space. And also the beat police who goes, uh, you know, checking from one end of the train to another end. So when, when me and a couple other people were standing uh, near the door trying to trying to get down or those people were trying to get the view, uh, he said that, you know, if you don't go back to your seats, we're gonna uh, put fine on you or something like that. So we just went back to the seat and then once he uh, passed to the next compartment, we all came back to the door. But then 
The train made a quick one minute stop near the station which is about 3 kilometers away from the falls. So I seized this opportunity and then jumped out with 40 other strangers at 2.30 a.m. in the morning. And the, and the train left and all there was left for us to do is walk to Dutsagar. And the toughest part was walking through the tunnels because in the morning it is different but it was pitch dark so all we had was a phone um, torch. So I did some small talk with a couple of strangers so that it will be helpful for me while crossing the tunnels and they were just losing their mind they were like are you really traveling alone like are you serious like you don't do you not have friends i'm like nah dude i just wanted to do this i was trying to keep it cool but then i was shit scared in the back of my mind so somehow i made it to the falls so after walking all that distance i finally reached dutsagar all that is left is to go up uh if you see this gate i don't know if you can see there's a railing behind this uh, so down there is the swimming area and on top is the actual falls so let's go so let's go and check it out So cut to, this is the morning view of the Dutch Sagar. As you can see it is pretty amazing and the funny part is I couldn't see anything, it was just a uh, mist. You know another thing is that I, uh, when, now it is 7 o'clock, when I came it was around uh, 3 in the morning, it was pitch dark. So I was sitting in that bench looking at this view, although uh, there was not much to see. I thought I'll just sit there for like however long um, listening to this white noise. Uh, the mist that rises from the from the waterfall, right? Uh, it started sitting on my bag and everything started getting soggy and wet. So I had to go to, as you can see, this, uh, the officer's cottage. You know, me and 20 other people were just sitting there taking shelter from the mist. So it was a pretty unique experience. I never expected it would be this cold in the morning, but then obviously it is Western Guard, so it has to be that cold. So when I actually came, it, there were only about 20 to 30 people, but right now, I know it's fucking crazy. Look at them standing on the edge. So I'm gonna chill for some time in this place. Look at the waterfall. I got down from the train. This is the guy I met. What's your name? My name is Nikhil Kumar. So his name is Nikhil. So, uh, so I was feeling alone when I was walking on the track. So these guys, you know, they were with me and then they helped me out. So thanks for you are such a guy. You are talking so much with us. Thank you. And you can tolerate with any situ situation. So uh, wherever you can walk in alone, uh, Karnataka, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep supporting, okay? Thank you, bro. So if you guys remember the vlog that I was uh, referring to before coming to the Dutch Sagar, this is actually uh, the station where the officer came in and chased the people around. 
people who are actually waiting to go to Dhuk Sagar were actually standing in this uh, particular tunnel. So this was the most scariest part. You know, we didn't know if they let us or not. So today there's nobody. So, referring to any vlogs such as that which claim to tell you that they give the perfect information is completely wrong. Boys, hi and Rafa. Hi. So the next stop is through this tunnel. So the thing about walking in these tunnels is that you'll have to be cautious whether the train is coming or not. So if you hear a train, then you have to move either to this side or this side. Like 30 minutes ago, I was on that bridge. That's the bridge, that's the falls, and I took a big ass U turn, and then that's the road. So, this is where the landslide would have happened. Uh, they've got this excavator here trying to clear up things, but damn, that's a lot of mud. Right now, from the falls, I'm going back to uh, Sonalium. I don't know. It is another Sonalium, uh, or goes by something similar to that. There is a church, and that's like the first meeting point for the people who trek from Kulem. So, if you are somebody who's trekking from Kulem, then that is somewhere you make the transition between the railway track into the trekking trail once you enter the trekking trail if you continue in that path for a kilometer or so you'll reach the foot of the falls So as I walked this trail, I met a trekking group who had hired a guide. So I asked them for directions and since I was trekking alone, the guide asked me to join in with them. So eventually, I reached the foot of the falls. And after that, I took a secret shortcut that the guide showed me to get back on top to the bridge. More on that in the part 